Well, tonight, parents and students in the Lewiston Porter School District are making their voices heard. They're concerned about recent school threats, bullying, and even acts of racism involving students. And it's one reason why the district is creating a town hall now focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion. Our Liz Lewin sat in the audience during the meeting tonight to hear those concerns firsthand. It's making me upset and angry and disgusted. Mariana Busoletto is 13 years old and a middle school student in the Lewiston Porter School District. Tonight, she and mom Dana had some brave, bold words for District Superintendent Paul Caseri, teachers, administrators, and staff during the district's first ever diversity, equity, and inclusion town hall. And they were not alone. Me and my friends want to see something being done and being heard and not it just being brushed under the rug because they, a lot of things are being brushed under the rug at the moment and I don't think it's okay. When does it stop? Because it's following them home. And with social media now, they can't escape it. Three weeks ago, a disturbing incident involving social media threats made on Snapchat with racial undertones led to two middle school students being arrested. On March 18th, Kasseri sent out a letter addressing the issue and his concern. But this is not the first time the Louport District has dealt with complaints or acts associated with racism or bullying. In fact, during tonight's town hall, several members of the community took to the microphone to share their frustrations over what some call a longstanding problem. I did end up pulling my child from the school because she was being bullied. She was having things said to her about her skin color, and she was also being hit by one of the other children in the classroom. Which is why Caseri says this town hall conversation needed to happen. There are almost 200 students of color, 200 students of color across our campus. We have a number of students who are going through gender identity right now. We have a number of students who have disabilities. And we need to make sure that we are recognizing, understanding, their lived experiences on our campus. Internationally recognized language educator and adjunct professor Dr. Ajay Barrett shared a compelling presentation about the importance of unpacking uncomfortable conversations about race and racism in our schools and empowering youth with self, social and global awareness so that they can better connect with others. Once we know the self, it would give us the curiosity to want to know our neighbor once we know our neighbor, then we would have the courage to want to address all of the issues in the world. But make no mistake, it's not a one and done. It's a lifelong process. Yeah, well, Scott and Marius, I will tell you, it was quite emotional, educational, and promising, that meeting. Kasseri says of all the town halls he's hosted, this was by far one of the best attended. And as a result, the district does plan to host more of them in the future. I will note that as it relates to that recent incident, it is still under investigation. In the Information Center, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.